So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about solving quadratic equations by quadratic formula. What is a quadratic equation? It's an equation in a standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. So there are lots of ways in solving a quadratic equation. First, extracting the square roots. Second, factoring. Third, completing the square. And our lesson for today, that is the quadratic formula. The formula for quadratic, that is x, it is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let us solve the value of x using quadratic formula. The given is written in the standard form. So right now, we can identify now the value of a, b, and c. The numerical coefficient of x squared, that is 1. The numerical coefficient of x, that is 7. So b equals 7. And then the constant, that is equal to positive 10. Let us replace all the value of a, b, c to the formula of quadratic, that is negative b, plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the value of b, that is equal to 7. So negative, multiply by 7, and then positive, negative. Replace the value of b by 7, and then squared, minus, copy, 4, copy, the value of a, that is equal to 1, the value of c, that is equal to 10, and then all over 2, multiply it by the value of a, that is equal to 1. So let us solve. So copy negative 7, plus and minus, 7 times 7 is 49, Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 10, that is equal to negative 40. All over 2. So 49 minus 40, that is equal to 9. And then the rest, negative 7 plus and minus, copy. And then all over 2, copy. So x, that is equal to negative 7 plus and minus the square root of 9, that is equal to 3. And then copy, positive So the first value of x, that is negative 7 plus 3 all over 2. Subtract, that is negative 4, copy the denominator 2. So negative 4 divided by 2, that is equal to negative 2. If the first value is plus 3, we have now the negative 3. So x, it is equal to negative 7 minus 3 all over 2. And then negative 7 minus 3 add, that is negative 10, copy the denominator 2. Negative 10 divided by 2, that is equal to negative 5. So the solutions are negative 2 and negative 5. So let us try to check if x that is equal to negative 2 and x equals negative 5 satisfy to the given quadratic equation x squared plus 7x plus 10. If we replace the value of x by negative 2 to the given equation, so that becomes negative 2 squared plus 7 times negative 2 plus 10 equals 0. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Copy positive 10 equals 0. 4 minus 14 subtract, that is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 10 subtract, that is equal to 0. The first value of x, negative 2, that is correct. How about the second one? x that is equal to negative 5. So it means negative 5 squared plus 7 replace x by negative 5 plus 10 equals 0. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. Copy positive 10 equals 0. 25 minus 35 subtract that is negative 10 plus 10 subtract that is equal to 0. So it means the solutions, if the given quadratic equations is x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0, the solutions are negative 2 and negative 5. Another example, x squared minus 6x minus 21 equals 0. The given is written in a standard form. So right now, we can identify a, b, and then c. 
The value of e, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is 1. The value of b, that is equal to negative 6. And the constant, that is equal to negative 21. So let us replace all the value to the given equation. So that becomes negative times negative 6 plus and minus copy the square root copy the value of b that is negative 6 and then square write the parentheses and then copy negative copy 4 the value of a that is equal to 1 the value of c that is equal to negative 21 all over 2 copy and then the value of a that is equal to 1 so let us try to solve negative times negative that is positive 6 Copy positive negative the square root of negative 6 times negative 6 that is equal to positive 36. And then negative 4 times 1 that is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 21 that is equal to positive 84 all over 2. So let us try to add 36 plus 84 that is equal to 120. And then the rest copy 6 copy plus and minus, and then the solutions for 36 plus 84, that is equal to the square root of 120 all over 2. What could be the factor of 120 having the perfect square? 60 and 2 cannot be, so it means the factors is 4 times 30. So let us solve. x, it is equal to 6, plus and minus the square root of 4, that is equal to 2, and then copy the square root of 30 all over 2. Let us get the lowest term for 6, 2, and 2. The number to be divided for all of the numbers that is equal to 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Plus and minus 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then all over 2 divided by 2. So it means 1. So all over 1. Or we can write 3 plus and minus the square root of 30. So the first solutions are 3 plus the square root of 30, and then the second one, that is 3 minus the square root of 30. So the solutions are 3 plus the square root of 30, and then 3 minus the square root of 30. How about number 3? The given 6x is equal to negative 2x squared minus 3. First, we need to rewrite this one in a standard form. So let us put negative 2x squared minus 3 on the left side. So that becomes change the sign, positive 2x squared, bring down 6x, and then negative 3 going to the left side, that becomes positive 3 equals 0. So it must be arranged from highest exponent to the lowest exponent. And then afterwards, we can identify now the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. The value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, so that is equal to 2. The value of b, that is equal to 6. And then the constant, that could be the value of c equals 3. So right now, we can replace now the value of a, b, and c to the given equation. So that becomes x, that is equal to negative 6, plus and minus the value of b, that is, that is equal to 6 squared, copy negative, copy 4, and then the value of a, replace it with 2. The value of c, replace it with 3, all over, copy 2. The value of a, replace it with 2. So let us try to solve now. So x, it is equal to negative 6 plus and minus 6 times 6, that is equal to 36. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times 3, that is equal to negative 24. 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. So let us try to solve now the square roots, the radical. 36 minus 24, that is equal to 12. Copy negative 6, plus and minus copy, and then copy the denominator 4. 12 is not a perfect square. Think of factor of 12 having the perfect square. 6 and 2 cannot be, also uh, 12 and 1. So it means the factor of 12 having the perfect square, that is equal to 4 times 3. So negative 6, plus and minus the square root of 4, that is equal to 2, and then copy the square root of 3, all over 4. So to get the lowest term of negative 6 over 4 and then plus and minus 2 over 4, the number to be divided for negative 6, 2, and 4 is 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And then plus and minus 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. And then copy the square root of 3. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. So the lowest term now is negative 3 plus and minus the square root of 3 all over 2.
So the solutions now are negative 3 plus the square root of 3 over 2. And then the second one, negative 3 minus the square root of 3 all over 2. How about example number 4? 3x squared plus 10, it is equal to x squared plus 5 plus 2x. This is not written in a standard form. So let us arrange. x squared plus 5 plus 2x must be put on the left side. So we need to change the sign. So first, bring down 3x squared. x squared going to the left side, that becomes negative x squared. 2x going to the left side, that becomes negative 2x. Bring down 10, positive 5 going to the left side, that is negative 5 equals 0. So let us combine like terms. 3 minus 1, that is 2, copy x squared. Bring down negative 2x, 10 minus 5, that is equal to positive 5 equals 0. So right now, we can identify the value of a, b, and c. The value of a, that is equal to 2. The value of b, that is equal to negative 2. And then the value of c, that is equal to 5. Let us replace all the value to the given quadratic formula. So that becomes negative times the value of b, that is negative 2, copy positive negative, copy the radical sign. Write the parenthesis because the value of b is negative, so negative 2 square minus copy 4 copy. Replace a by 2, replace c by 5, all over copy 2, replace a by 2. So negative times negative, it is equal to positive 2 plus and minus Negative 2 times negative 2, that is equal to positive 4. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times 5, that is equal to negative 40. 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. 4 minus 40, that is equal to negative 36. As you can see, the radical is negative. So despite the given, 36 is a perfect, but then the radical is negative. So it means there is no real solutions. So let us solve now number 5. 5x squared plus 7x plus 3, it is equal to 4x plus 3. 4x plus 3 must be written on the left side. So let us arrange that one in a standard form. So bring down 5x squared, bring down 7x. Positive 4x going to the left side, that becomes negative 4x. Bring down 3. Positive 3 going to the left side, that becomes negative 3 equals 0. So let us combine like terms. So, bring down 5x squared. We need to combine 7x minus 4x. That becomes positive 3x. So, let us combine 3 minus 3. That is equal to 0. So, copy equals 0. So, the, the given is not complete quadratic equation. But then, we can solve that using quadratic formula. So, the value of a, that is equal to 5. The value of b, that is equal to 3. So, we have no constant. So, it means c, that is equal to 0. So let us replace all the value to the given equation. So that becomes negative times the value of b that is equal to 3 plus and minus the square root of the value of b that is equal to 3 squared. Copy negative 4, the value of a, replace it with 5, the value of c, replace it with 0, and then all over, copy 2, the value of a, replace it with 5. So let us try to solve now. So negative 3 plus and minus the square root of 3 times 3. That is equal to 9. Negative 4 times 5, that is equal to negative 20. Times 0, that is equal to 0. Any number multiplied by 0, the answer is equal to 0. And then 2 times 5, that is equal to 10. So negative 3 plus and minus 9 minus 0, that is equal to 9. And then copy 10 in the denominator. So let us solve. Negative 3 plus and minus the square root of 9, that is equal to 3, all over 10. So let us solve now the two solutions. The first solution that is negative 3 plus 3 all over 10. Subtract that is equal to 0 over 10. 0 divided by 10 that is equal to 0. So the solutions, first solution is equal to 0. The second one, negative 3 minus 3 all over 10. Negative 3 minus 3 add that is equal to negative 6, copy the denominator, 10. Negative 6 di divided by 10, the lowest term, that is equal to negative 3 over 5. Because negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, 
10 divided by 2, that is equal to 5. So the solutions are 0 and negative 3 over 5. So let us practice what you have learned. Instruction, solve the value of x using quadratic formula. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics! I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.